Rituals. What do we mean by rituals? Every year, they're going to be a lavish dinner in five-star hotel. You employees would be given some lavish dinner. They can invite their families and all the stuff. Or the best 10 order taking or marketing guys are going to be given bonuses with car benefits, you know, holidays, this kind of stuff. This is called ritual, right? Like in Ali, you know, Alibaba, you know, Chinese firm, the Jack Ma used to held. 11-11. On 11-11, every Alibaba member is just watching screen and look at the ideas how much, how quickly they can have a $1 billion sales. And they celebrate it through music and all the stuff. So they have become, it has become ritual of Alibaba, Taobao, and Tmall for 11-11 sale gala. Right? The third one is material artifacts and symbols. How organization treat its employees? The CEOs would be given this lavish, fully furnished VVIP interior room, or Mercedes or private jet is given to them. These are artifacts, material artifacts and symbols, and the language. So, if you happen to be, you know, recently in topmost organization of the world if you are in your area so managers nowadays are not using the word subordinate he is my subordinate or he is employee watchman labor they are not using this term rather they are using the word mate if manager is you know calling you or walking you know through you and she just say how are you mate hey mate come to my room we have to discuss this kind of stuff so these kind of languages also affect employees to learn the culture fast all right so how employees learn the culture through stories ritual material artifacts and through languages when you give respect you receive respect all right guys okay we are not taking any break because we just have on like i think countable slides four to five slides and then we are just going to Finish it in one go. All right, guys. So, any question up till now? Up till now, we have discussed the symbolic view that managers are not responsible for what they don't have any control. All right, and what are those controls which affect the manager's ability to make decisions? Outside factors which means outside external environment and external environment has two dimension degree of change degree of complexity and then we talked about specific culture so the specific environment and then combine all those specific environment and outer environment are affecting the organizations making decisions through culture and then we talked about how Culture is going to be initiated in an organization through founders. And then how employees are going to learn the culture through stories, rituals, material artifacts, and language. So let's just answer our last learning objective, which is how culture manages the scene, which is the crux of this lecture. So number one, so guys, can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Yes, 
Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about that. So how culture affects managers because an organization's culture constraints what what they can and cannot do and how they manage is particularly relevant to the managers. So what are the functions of managers? Planning, organizing, leading, controlling. All right. If you are working in planning department, you are affected by culture. If you are working in organizing department, organization uh, organizing function if you are employing or uh, then it is also affected by culture if you are in a leading function it is also affected by culture if you are in controlling part it is also affected by culture so managers whether you are in planning role organizing leading controlling you have to go through the culture you need to plan according to the culture so in planning part the degree of risk that plan should contain whether plan should be developed by individuals or a team the degree of environmental scanning in which manager will engage so all those stuff external environment degree of change degree of complexity so if you are in organizing you have to organize according to level of change level of complexity if you are in leading role you need to motivate the people according to degree of complexity degree of change if you are in controlling function right you need to control the employees actions or something you need to limit your decisions making or according to degree of change according to degree of complexity all right so that's all for our today's lecture so let's review what we have learned today the omnipotent view which says managers are directly responsible for the organization's success or failure the symbolic view it says much of the organization's success or failure is due to external forces outside of the manager's control you cannot just blame all the success or failure to the or to the managers because there are some external factors as well the two constraint on managerial decisions are the organizational culture and environment so internal if your decisions making if your decisions are affected by internal forces it's due to culture external forces due to environment and then we talked about describe the constraint and challenging facing managers in today's external environment we talked about the main components economic demographic socio cultural technological global right and then we talked about the dimensions of the culture which means how people basically uh, di discuss the characteristics and importance of organizational culture the dimensions are here and then we talked about stronger culture versus weaker culture and then how culture are going to be transmitted in employees through stories ritual material symbols and languages all right any question up till now no no okay so i'm going to stop recording here so regarding our assignment so please you can submit your assignments you have two let me just write it again we have let me just stop it okay class all those who are watching online so this is the end of the lecture so see you next time take care bye bye